You know, we have a lot of things in common. My parents came into this country in the 1970s, fleeing a country that was on the brink of war, that was seeing violence. And they knew that if they were to have a family, they didn't want to raise it in a country like that. So they came looking where there was peace, where there were opportunities, and that's what led them here. You're looking for the same things. Those are the reasons that you're here now, right? As a matter of fact, the Ahmadi community is doing some great things, not just coming into this country, but also trying to educate, trying to change the way people perceive your religion. In Maryland, I know that we're honored that you have your national headquarters in Silver Spring. It may not be in Prince George's County where I'd like everything to be, but that's close enough and we do appreciate it. We're also honored to have you there because under the wise leadership of His Holiness, you are standing up, you're leading the way in standing up against the hate and the violence that unfortunately we see unfolding before us every single day. The news is full of these stories and what it does is it creates this atmosphere, unfortunately, that sometimes all of us get pulled into. Me, as being a representative of the Latino community, we face that as well sometimes. We hear only the negative stories, and it's difficult to get people to understand that there are so many other people that are doing so much good, right? And I commend you, because I think right now, where we are in our history as a nation, we're facing some difficult periods. And when people make accusations, when people say things that are untrue about you, it is difficult to stand up to that and to not react. But that's what you're doing. You've come up with this platform in which you are showing people how important love is to your religion, how love is the number one guidance that you've received from God to spread that love. And so you are so important because you're fighting against all that negativity that's coming in, that some people are spewing, that's starting to become, unfortunately, a bigger portion of our identity here overall as a country. But it was interesting, in preparation for this, I was reading over the 11 points that you have, and two of them really jumped out to me. The first one was that you advocate for the freedom of conscience, the freedom of religion, and the freedom of speech. Those are the tenets that this country was founded on, and you are defending those tenets. The second is that you believe in the loyalty to your country of residence, because unfortunately, I know it. I was born here when my parents are from a small country in Central America, El Salvador, and sometimes it's difficult to distinguish for people national pride versus cultural pride. I consider myself American, but I know that culturally, I'm Salvadorian. And it's beautiful to see that you're preserving your culture while also embracing the country in which you've entered. And this really remains important because as I look around here, yes, many adults, but also many children. And the truth is that as we continue on, what's going to occur is that your children and our children, everyone's children, at some point we're gonna be called upon and we're all gonna have to stand side by side lift our arms up and push this country towards the goals of acceptance, towards the goals of greatness that we know that this country can achieve. And you are vitally important to that. So I thank you so much for the work that you're doing. I know from the state of Maryland, the General Assembly, we thank you for the work that you're doing in our state. Many blessings to all of you. Thank you.